All right, this is fifth, fifth grade, module two, lesson 28. We're nearing the end of our module, and we're going to be solving word problems using division, and we're going to be using that standard algorithm. Now, this homework assignment, heads up to you teachers, um, is a, actually a pretty long assignment. There's only five problems, but there are multiple steps and a lot of work, so uh, be thoughtful if you're going to assign this as your homework. So Mr. Rice needs to replace the 166.25 feet of edging on the flower beds in his backyard. Uh, yeah, on the flower beds in his backyard. Um, the edging is sold in lengths of 19 feet each. How many lengths of edging will he need to purchase? Now this problem happens to be fairly straightforward. So we've got like 166 edging, uh, 166.25 feet of edging. And we're going to cut that into groups of 19. And that essentially means we're going to be dividing. All right, so we're going to do 166.25 divided by 19. And we're going to use the standard algorithm. And in this case, I'm going to estimate, and I'm going to round 19 to 20. And I'm going to skip count until I reach 166. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160. And at that point, I'm going to stop. Because if I go any further, I'm going to cross over 166. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So my estimation for the quotient is going to be 8. And I'm going to put that 8 here. And let's multiply to be sure. So 19 times 8 is 72. 8 times 1 is 8 plus 7 is 15, so we got 152, and I, since I don't cross over the 166, uh, 152 is good, and we can subtract, and we get 11 left over. That's awesome. So that's 11 whole numbers. Now if I drop the 2, instead of thinking of this, uh, did I say 11? I meant 14. Um, if I drop the 2, instead of thinking of 14 leftovers, or 142, really what this is is 142 tenths. And we are going to figure out how many uh, times we can take 142 tenths and break it up into groups of 19, or into 19 groups. Uh, and according to my skip counting, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 7, let's try 7 times. So uh, I'm going to go over here on my scratch paper, do 100, uh, 19 times 7, 63, 133. So I'm going to put my 7 right here on the tenths column. Subtract, that's 133. And if I subtract, I get 9 tenths left over. And I drop that 5, and now I'm going to think of it as 95 hundredths. And using my skip counting over here, it looks like I got 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to go up to that 80, because after that I cross over. So I'm going, to, I'm going to try 4 as my estimation. So let's see what happens. 19 times 4, 36, 76. Mm -hmm. Let's try that. So I'm going to put 4 on the hundredths column. 76 goes here, and I'm going to subtract. That gives me an 8, and this turns into a 15. So 15 minus 6 is 9, and 8 minus 7 is 9. Ooh, what does that mean? That means we could have gone in one more time. So I'm going to change that 4 to a 5, an additional time. And that means I can subtract out one more 19, and I'm officially done. So the answer is um, 8.75. But 8.75 what? So the question says, how many lengths, scooch that over, how many lengths of edging will he need to purchase? Well, it, the exact number is 8.75, but the store probably won't let him um, purchase that portion of a length, so they, he may have to buy nine lengths. Now, if some students want to say 8.75 lengths because maybe this, they've found a store that will let them 
let him purchase portions of lengths, that's fine too. And that is that question. All right, let's do this problem. This is a multiple steps on this one. So it says Adam has 16.45 kilograms of flour. He uses 6.4 kilograms to make his hot cross buns. And the remaining flour is exactly enough to make 15 batches of scones. How much flour will be in each batch? So let's see if we could draw a picture of what's going on here. So we know our total is 16.45. Uh, kilograms. He uses some of it to make some hot cross buns. So this portion right here is his 6.4 kilograms to make hot cross buns. So all this stuff left over is for his scones. And we don't know how much is left over for his scones. That's a subtraction problem. But then we need to chop that up into 15 pieces. So we're going to use, and I'm going to put a little division, I mean a little bracket there, and uh, we want to find one of those little pieces, and I, I just simulated 15. I don't know how many I actually drew. It doesn't really matter. So we're simulating. So it's a two-step process. First thing we need to do is subtract 16.45 minus 6.4, and this is going to tell us that he used 10.05 kilograms for his scones. And he made 15 batches, so that means we need to do some division. So 10.05 divided by 15 is going to give us the number of, the amount of flour for each batch of scones. So let's do our math. So 15, I'm pretty good at my, my 15s, actually. I can do my skip counting of 15. So 15, 30, 45, uh, 60, 75, 90. So at that point, I know I'm going to cross over because uh, my goal is 100, which is 100 tenths, technically. It's 100 tenths. And so I can see that it looks like I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6. So my quotient is right here, it's 6, and because this is not an estimation over here, these were exact. I know the answer is 90, and I'm going to subtract, and I'm going to get 10. So technically that's 10 tenths. And then I'm going to drop a, a 5, and that's 105 hundredths. And I can see that if we were to continue my skip counting, after 90 is 105. All right, so that's how many times? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. So my quotient, not really much of an estimate. It's an exact. It's going to be 105, and I'm going to subtract, and I'm going to get zero. So this decimal goes straight up. So it's 0.67 kilograms. So what does that mean? So each batch... Each batch will have 0 0.67 kilograms of flour. One last problem in this video. Ben is making math manipulatives to sell. Woohoo! Go, Ben! He needs to make at least $450. Boy, don't we all. Each manipulative costs $18 to make, and he's selling them for $30 each. What is the minimum? So $18 is how much they cost. He's selling them at 30. What is the minimum number he needs to sell to reach his goal? Now, the way I'm interpreting this, when he's making $450, that's his profit is what I'm thinking. So when he sells something for $30, but he knows that it costs $18, to make, that tells me his profit is over here. And I can do that math in my head. 30 minus 18 equals 12. So his profit is $12. So for each manipulative he sells, he makes $12. So if his goal 
is $450. So I'm going to kind of draw an example. Here's, here's $450. And here's $12. Here's $12. Here's $12. Here's $12. And if this entire thing is $450, the question is, dot, 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 dot. How many of these 12s is he going to need in order to make his $450? Well, that's a division problem. So we're going to do 450 divided by 12. Um, I'm going to think of 12 as 10. I'm going to estimate, and I'm going to go up to 45, which is pretty straightforward. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40. So my estimation is 12 goes into 45 four times because it says so here, one, two, three, four. So I'm going to go over here on scratch paper, 12 times four, it gives me 48. Ooh, too much. So I'm going to erase that four, and I'm going to try 12 times three. And I get 36, so that's looking good. Now I can subtract, I get 9 left over, and I'm going to drop that 0, so that's 90. And, you know, according to my estimation, I was going by 10s, right? So I did 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So according to my estimation, 12 is going to go into 90 about um, 9 times. So let's see, I don't have much hope for this one. 12 times 9, it's probably going to be lower. And 9 times 2 is 18. Carry the 1. 9 times 1 is 9, plus 1 is, yeah, boy, I'm way too much. So let's uh, try again. Let's lower our estimation to, let's try 8. So I'm going to go 12 times 8. And I'm trying to be as nice and neat and keep all of my um, estimations, my guesses. 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 1 is 9, so that's still too much. Boy, my estimation really kind of let me down on this one, huh? So we're going to do 12 times 7. 7 times 2 is 14. 7 times 1 is 7, plus 1 is 8. Ah, hey, there we go. So we've got 7 right here, and that's 84, and we're going to subtract, and we get 6 left over. And... That's six whole numbers left over. So if I add an extra zero and bring it down, that's like 60 tenths. And so now 12 goes into 60 tenths because I've been wrong every single time. I'm going to try five. So let's do five. 12 times five. Five times two is 10. Carry the one. Hey, look at that. I nailed it. So my quotient is going to be five. And I have nothing left over, so that's my answer, 37.5. But let's figure it out. So what is the minimum he can sell to reach his goal? Well, what we're saying is he would have to sell 37 and a half. Well, you can't really sell a half of an, of an item. So he can't sell 37 because he wouldn't quite meet his goal. So really, he needs to sell 38 manipulatives in order to reach his goal. And that is Grade 5, Module 2, Lesson 28, where we are using the standard algorithm for division to solve some pretty darn big word problems.